All right, we talked about parallel lines in the previous lesson, <clears throat> uh, but that's okay because in this one it's not too bad. Remember that for parallel lines, we want the same slope, but different y-intercepts, okay? So uh, since this parallel line uh, is, well, this line is parallel, it's going to have the same slope, which in this case is negative 4. That tells us right away that the equation will be y equals negative 4x. The difference in this case, though, is that it needs to pass through this point. So we can use point-slope form of a line, or we could use slope-intercept form in order to find the y-intercept. Now, if you want to find uh, an example uh, of a problem that uses point slope form, that's okay. Look at some of the previous examples. It's on this playlist as well. But in this case, just to change it up just a little bit, we're going to use slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. <clears throat> now we already know the slope of this thing, so we'll change the slope to be negative 4. And we have an x value, which was given in this point, 10. And we'll change the y value as well to its corresponding y value here in the point. <clears throat> From here, we're just going to solve this like we would any other problem. Negative 4 times 10 is negative 40. That's still plus b, by the way. And this equals that negative 60. Finally, to solve this, we would add 40 to both sides. Some of you guys already know the answer. And that would give us a negative 20 equals B, which, as it turns out, just goes right here. So that would be a minus 20. And bam, we have the equation of a line that's parallel because the slope is the same. And it goes through this point because we used slope-intercept form to find that. Now... If you use point-slope form, it still wouldn't matter. You'd still get the same answer there.